Hi guys, it's Sarah from Lonely Rose 9314, and today I will be doing my November wrap up and my December 2BR. I will be messing around with the editing a little, a little bit. So if it seems a little choppy in places, in places because I'm gonna be adding pictures and stuff and an opening credit scene. I'm sorry about that. I'm not very good at editing, but I'm gonna see what I can do. I can do. So without further ado, here is my November wrap-up. So, in November, I actually only read two books. Two books, I know, book shame and other stuff. It's just that I was busy with Thanksgiving and moving from one city back home. Back home, and that took a lot of my time. Then I'm in prepping for the trip that I'm going to be going on. In December, which is what the December TBR is for, because I will be going on a plane ride to Florida, and I'm gonna be needing some books to get there, mostly because it's a while from New Mexico to Florida. So let's get started on this. This so. The first book I have here, which is probably not going to pop up because I suck at editing, possibly, I have no clue, is the first book that I read in the month, and that was My Heart and Other Black Holes. I did the traffic review before I did My Heart and Other Black Holes because I didn't want to do a review for My, other, My Heart and Other Black Holes, mostly because I didn't particularly enjoy it. Enjoy it. But I finished my heart in other black holes, and I have a review up for it now. It's not a spoiler review, review, so anyone could watch it, and I will link that review down below. Down below, if any of you want to watch it, see my thoughts on it, whatever. It's completely spoiler free, so none of you have to worry about being spoiled. Bring my heart in other black holes by Jasmine Wanga, if you wanted to see that. And uh, the second book I read, which I actually got from the public library of the town I was in, so I had to turn it back in, was Traffic by Ellen Hawkins, and that's the second books in second book in the trick series. So my spoil my review is spoiler does have major spoilers for the first and second book book in the series. So if you wanted to watch that I will link it down below in the description box. Description box, so that will be that. And that was it for my November wrap-up. Now getting on to the subject of my December 2BR, mostly because I will be on a plane, and I'll be in Florida, and visiting my boyfriend, and while I will be doing a lot of sightseeing, I will also need something to do, which is why I'm bringing five books. To complete my top 15 of 2015 15 video, I'll be reading these five books, unless I see better books at Books A Million, because me and my boyfriend are going to Books A Million when I'm there. So I'm so excited to go to Books A Million, it's going to be awesome. I've never been to Books A Million, I've just recently heard of the bookstore from Ginger Reads Laney. Lanny, who is the head of the Top 5 Wednesday group I'm in. So if you want to join the Top 5 Wednesday group I'm in, I'll link the description down below as well as, as my Twitter and my fan fiction page and all that good stuff. The only social media one I won't link down below is my Facebook because it's my personal Facebook. I might link down my book tagging adventures page, but as far as... My personal page goes, I only accept people I know on my Facebook page, so I'm sorry about that. But, um, on to the December 2 we are. Alright, the first book that I'm actually really enjoying right now, that I'm currently reading, that I'm going to be bringing on the plane ride with me, is An Ember in the Ashes by Sabah. Sabah Tahir. Tahir, I'm sorry if I butchered that name, 
I really didn't mean to butcher it, it's just, it's a kind of difficult name to work, to say. So, An Ember in the Ashes follows the story of Leia and Elias. Leia is basic, basically, I it's not a spoiler mostly because I think it says so in the description. Let me look. Look, actually, it's not in the description, so I won't spoil it for you, but something forces Leia to run away from her home, her home, and join this rebel alliance group against the Empire, Empire, and she goes into the military there, and Elias is a head soldier, head soldier, and so far, I love this book, it's just, it's really interesting and it's gripping from the first chapter because of what happens to Leia in the first chapter. I'm not gonna say what happens to her because it's major spoilers. Spoilers, but it really sucks what happened to her and she's going to join the resistance. Resistance against the Empire and they want her to do stuff for them and so far it's a very good read. I'm enjoying Leia's story more than Elias's right now, but I feel like that's gonna change soon. Elias does have a compelling story so far, and I want to read more about it, but Leia is who I'm really interested in in this book, but I have to get past the dull point of view if I want to read her. Read her view, so I'm gonna be reading this on the plane, and I'm excited for this book. Second book I'm reading, I've actually begun, began reading it a while ago, it's just that it isn't compelling enough for me, and it's really sad because it's by one of my favorite authors, offers, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna stick around, I'm gonna give it a shot, shot, it's just not something I'm used to by her, and I guess that's why I'm not enjoying it as much, because I'm used to her writing about vampires, or succubuses, or shamans, it's just, this one, it's like, eh, I love it, but I don't, I like it somewhat, but I don't love it, love it so far, and that is Soundless by Rochelle Mead, Rochelle Mead is one of my favorite authors, I've gotten to page 29 in this book, in this book, and it's a really short book, so I'm pretty sure I could actually make myself read this, read this, and hopefully it will give me enough ple enough pleasure while reading it, not as much as An Ember in the Ashes, because so far I've been reading that, and it's really amazing, and I love it so much. So, between An Ember in the Ashes and Soundless, so far An Ember in the Ashes is really comp much more compelling for me. I don't know why. So, Soundless follows the adventures of Faye, of Faye, which is really funny because whenever I was taking what Rochelle Mead character are you quiz on BuzzFeed or was something like that, apparently I got Faye from Soundless, so I'm reading it and trying to figure out how I'm Faye. So far, I mean, I would help out my blind sister so she wouldn't have to put her life in danger. In danger like that. So, yeah, that would be me. Me somewhat. So, Sun Liz follows Faye, and she's in a village that can't hear sound. Hear sound. They communicate through sign language, which is really cool because I take in sign language, and sign language is all always fascinated me, fascinated me, so I think I found that fascinating, and one day she wakes up, and she could hear her again, and she's the only one in her village who can, who can, and it's a fascinating concept, it's just the fact that I haven't got to the actual part where she starts hearing sound again, and I guess that's why I'm just like, okay, okay, I get that. I like that Rochelle Mead establishes character development very well. So far, character development is pretty good in this one. In this one. But it's such a short book. 
that I really don't care for character development, mostly because this is a standalone, so I'm not, it's not like I'm gonna be reading a book in this series again, it's just, it's a standalone, so, that yeah, first standalone. Okay, next book is one on my TBR of shame, of shame that I haven't read yet, and that is uh, City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. I've actually read this one, I didn't particularly enjoy it, enjoy it. This one felt more like a rushed read for me because I had to give it back to the library so soon, so soon, so I rushed into reading this, and I guess that's why I didn't like it as much. But with this one, I have a plane ride. I have three weeks in Florida while I'll, where I'll basically be sightseeing. And all my boyfriends at work, I'll be at his house. At his house, just being on the computer. And I'm already pre-recording my Top 5 Wednesdays. Top 5 Wednesdays, so I won't be doing those much. So I'll have plenty of time to read. And City of Bones will be one of them. One of the ones that I'll be reading. Uh... For anyone who doesn't know what the Moral Instrument series is by Cassandra Clare, it follows the story of Clary, Clary and her Shadowhunter friends, and a lot of stuff happens, and I've heard marvelous things about the series. I don't know why, because I read the first book and I didn't particularly like it, but I have all six books behind me on my shelf. On my shelf, so if I did enjoy the series, because people tell me you have to read the second book to really enjoy it, and for me, if it's not interesting in the first book, I won't probably read it, but there are so many people who vouch for this series that I've decided to give it a shot. So, City of Bones, that's gonna be my third one. Fourth one is actually one that I was really sad that I didn't finish in November, mostly because it was a big explosion book in of the month, and I really wanted to read it. To read it. Also, if anyone wants to know what the book Explosion Book of the Month is for December, and they don't watch Katie Tastics or Pulling Bananas books or Jesse the Reader, it's Winter by Marissa Meyer. So if you want to read that with them, with them, that'll be awesome. I actually have not started the Lunar Chronicles, so I can't read it. Read it, but I will be doing the November. Book of the Month, and that is Illuminae by Jamie Cuffman and, or Amy Cuffman, sorry, Amy Cuffman and Jay Kristoff, Kristoff, and I'm not 100% sure what this book is about, I've gotten to page 17 of this book, and so far it's followed the story of Ezra and Katie. Katie, there are a couple who just bare. so far what I got from the story is there are a couple that just barely broke up. Something's happening to their- <clears throat> Sorry. Something's happening to their- their city. It's basically being destroyed. It's more like a post-apocalyptic book if I had to guess. I guess. And they work for- and there are two corporations battling it out, and they're working for one corporation, so I'm excited for this one, especially because the artwork in this one, it's just such a visually beautiful book, book like I explained earlier in the month, it is visually beautiful, and I just, I love it so much, so that's gonna be the fourth one I'm gonna do and excuse me for the ugly cover on this one. I got it from thriftbooks.com. It's the only complaint I had about thriftbooks.com is that that there wasn't a dust jacket to this one and it was a hardcover. And that is the Fifth Wave by Rick Yancey. The Fifth Wave is tells the story of. Let me try to get her name. Yep, there we go. I, I thought it was Cassie, but I want to make sure. Follows the story of Cassie and. The world is being invaded by what I can only tell is aliens, and I'm just, I'm excited for this one. This one, because it's been a while since I've read an alien book. So I'm intrigued by this book. 
and it's really it's really pretty on the inside so that was that so there you guys have it that was my november wrap up and december 2br so what are you guys reading for december comment down below let me know and tell me your thoughts on all those books. Spoiler free, though. I don't want to be spoiled, even though I love spoilers. I don't want to be spoiled, spoiled for a lot of it, mostly because I do have, I believe, a six to seven hour plane ride to Florida that I really just want to read, and it's going to be awesome. So I will see you guys later. Bye.